Hey everybody, welcome to RoastyCoffee.com. My name is Matt and today I'm going to talk about grinding your own beans. Grind it. Grind it. Grind it. So I have five rules here at Roasty that I came up with for grinding your own coffee beans. The first rule of Roasty is to always grind your own coffee beans. The second rule of Roasty is to always grind your own coffee beans. The third rule is to use a burr grinder and not a blade grinder or a blender. Blade grinders just chop up the beans and sometimes the blades can heat up and actually roast the coffee beans a little more. So now there are two types of burr grinders you can use. One burr grinder is an automatic grinder or an electric grinder uh, that is pretty great. You just pop the beans in, you, you set the grind setting, and then you just let it fly. I like using a manual or a hand burr grinder uh, because I just it just feels good to grind the beans yourself and it's perfect for traveling. The fourth rule is to measure out your beans before you grind. So when you do the proper coffee measurement using grams and a kitchen scale, you want to measure out the whole bean and then grind it. The fifth and final rule is to know your grind settings. There are actually three main grind settings and that's coarse, medium, and fine. Then there are grind settings that are above, below, and in between those settings. The first and the largest setting is called the extra coarse setting. And that's when the grind sizes are, are actually really kind of big, almost like big pieces of sea salt. And that's perfect for cold brewing. The second grind is the main coarse grind. And the coarse grind is a, a good setting for French presses and anything with a, a mesh screen. The third setting is medium coarse, and this is right between coarse and medium, and it's perfect for Chemex pour over systems, which is actually my favorite brewing system. The fourth setting is the medium setting, and this is the ubiquitous setting for all commercially ground coffee. And it's perfect for drip brewing coffee, which is why it's perfect for commercial brewing coffee. So if you're making coffee with a drip brewer, use a medium grind setting. The fifth setting is a medium fine. This is between medium and fine setting, and this is perfect for pour over coffee. The sixth setting is the fine setting, and this is the final setting of the three main settings. So many, I'm using the word settings so many times. And then finally, the seventh setting is the extra fine setting. Remember, these are just guidelines for settings. You can actually experiment with any setting and any brewing method. So if you really like uh, a fine grind with a French press, you can totally do that. And if you like to try a coarse grind with an aero press, you can do that too. Experiment, find what you like, and then stick to it for as long as you want. So that's it. Those are the five rules for grinding coffee. And if you have any more questions, of course, you can go to roastycoffee.com. And until then, enjoy. Do you remember the first rule? It's always grind your own beans. That was a crazy one.